what does it mean to be a saint? What does it mean to be holy? Everybody has ideas in their head of what those words mean. Um, we have phrases like, well, you think you're holier than thou. You know, somebody thinks that they're really, really good. Um, we have the idea that if somebody is a saint, that they are pretty near perfect. And there's a lot of baggage that, that comes with those words, particularly the word saint, because it ends up being thought of as the Catholic idea of a saint, where a person led an exceptionally holy life and did miracles and is canonized and officially granted sainthood by the church. That's not what a saint is in the Bible, though, okay? Um, if you're a Christ Christian in a Protestant denomination, um, this video will be informative for you, too. But if you're Catholic, I want you to particularly pay attention. Because first of all, the way the Apostle Paul uses the word saint just means a believer, a follower of Jesus Christ. And he will write to the churches and he will say to the saints in Ephesus or the saints in Colossa or the saints in Corinth or the saints in Rome or wherever. You get the idea. And a lot of modern translations are not using the word saint there anymore. They're using to the believers in Corinth, the believers in Colossa, the believers in Rome. And that's better because it does convey the fact that uh, every follower of Christ is a saint. But it's not a good translation in that it it doesn't really tell you what that word really means. So the two words that we translate as holy and saint come from a Greek word that is, is what it was originally in the New Testament because the New Testament was written in Greek. A Greek word that is hagios that we translate as holy. And that word doesn't mean almost perfect. It doesn't mean you rarely sin. It doesn't mean that you walk around with a halo. What it means is set aside or different. So when the Apostle Paul tells us that we should live holy lives, that means that we should have that we should live lives that are different than the rest of the world. We don't think like them. We don't act like them. And somebody in the world would look at us and say, you're different. So it's that we're different, but we're also set aside. Well, set aside by who and for what? Set aside by God for his purposes. Your life should be about God's purpose if you are holy, if you are hagios. And the word saint comes from, it's a different form of it, but it comes from the same Greek word hagios. So if you translate the word hagios as holy, then a good translation instead of saint would be holy ones, holy people. Um, but again, holy ones doesn't have the same connotation as people who are set aside for God's purpose. People who are different than the rest of the world. That's what it means to be a saint. That's what it means to be holy. The followers of Jesus should be set aside 
for God's purposes. They should be different than the world in what they believe, how they conduct themselves, how they talk, what their lives are about, and who they are. We are to be God's set aside, different people who are about his purposes. We could kind of imitate Jesus when he was 12 years old and he was at the temple and Mary and Joseph came looking for him. And he said to them, didn't you know that I need to be about my father's business? If you want to be a saint, if you want to be a holy person, you need to be about our father's business. So, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to do miracles. You just have to be about your father's business to be a holy saint. A person that is set aside by God for his purpose that is different than the rest of the world. Something that's I think pretty cool to think about.